Okay, we're gonna make a cute, simple little Valentine today. Remember Valentine's? I used to do that. So you're gonna find these two files attached to the video. All right, just click on the attachments. You can download these two files. They are for you, you're welcome. Uh, they may print off a little different colors than what you see here on the monitor. Computer monitors are notoriously bad for not showing you the right colors. So they're probably a little more faded looking when you print them on paper, but that's okay, they're still super cute. So this one I printed in cardstock, so it's an actual like Valentine's card. And this one I printed on regular copy paper, because you don't have to do anything more complicated than that. And I'm going to, I have a big cutter here. You can use a small cutter if you have one of these. Uh, I think you can grab these at the dollar store. You can use scissors, you can use rotary cutter, whatever you have, whatever works. Okay, I'm just showing you the different possibilities. So I'm just going to cut my little card here. And I like this kind of card, so I love these paper cutters. They're just like, something about them just makes me happy. So there we go. And I want to trim it down a little bit just to make it look more like an actual Valentine's card. And because I printed it on cardstock, it feels like a Valentine's card. So there we go, see, just like that. Like Remember those ones you used to give out at school? And here's a big one if you want. Different things like, there's a, a different one if you want that, all cool. So I'm just gonna move this off here. We don't need this anymore. Oh, no, actually we do, sorry, I lied. All right, now this paper is going to be our envelope, okay? It's not gonna be perfectly sized to the Valentine, but it's pretty decent. So how we're gonna do that, now when you print these off, if you're printing, um, heavier colors and stuff like that, you'll see that you can never get these edges to print. That's just how printers work, okay? So you may need to trim this down depending on your tolerance for that. So I'm gonna trim that off. See why I love these cutters? Such a straight cut. I can never get a straight cut with the scissors, guys. I'm terrible like that, so. I can't always get a straight cut with these either, but okay. We're trying. So you just, I have a bigger one downstairs, a giant one of these things. All right, so we need a perfect square. This is how we're going to start. So how, do you remember how you did this in school? We're like going back to school today, guys. All right, flip this over, take your edge here until you get to the very corner. Can you see this? And when it hits actual the actual corner, I think I've got it. That's as far, that's where you want to fold this, just like this, okay? All right, so remember that. Now this, I just want to cut off. So because I have this cutter, I can just move this right over here and do it. I'm going to line up this end. Let's see if you can see this. Right there and there, and I'm going to cut that right off. All right, so we have a nice triangle. Now we have a perfect square. That's exactly what we want. So that first fold is great. This is a little origami envelope. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to turn the fold this way. And we're going to just match the corners, fold it. If you've done this perfectly right, then these corners will be perfect. I don't always get it. You know me. So you now have this square. Let's fold it this way, okay? I want to take, you want to take the, let's say, what will we be seeing? This is the right side. We're going to fold it in just past that little, where the two lines meet, okay? I want it just past our teeny weeny bit, all right? Can you see that? So there's where the line is, and there's, I'm just coming over just a tiny bit. So these are going to be the sides of your envelope, okay? I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, pretty simple, just past that line, right? So that they actually are touching. Got that, okay. Then this part is where you're gonna go. Maybe this is where the, it's easy to get confused. I want you to imagine a line from here. I'm gonna draw it so you can see it, all right? That's why I got the ruler over. So you can see what I'm talking about. You don't need to draw it when you're doing it yourself. I just wanna show you, all right? So imagine that there's a line here and there's a line there, that's the center line that we had. Let's just get that drawn in so you can see it. Okay, there's the center line. So what you want to do is, have these folded over like a soap. 
you want a line that's right between these two, the center right between these two. So we're just going to, you measure it out. I'm not going to bother for now. I'm just going to eyeball it because that's how I roll. All right. You do not need to draw it. You just need to know what you're shooting for. I'm just showing you so you can see. All right. So it gives a better visual for you. All right. So like this one's not even straight. <laughs> so ignore that. But you've got these folded over. There's your imaginary line right there. Now you take the bottom one and you fold it up to the bottom of the imaginary line. That's the tricky part, right? Now you don't need to have that line there, remember, okay? But that's just to show you the first time. So you've got that folded. Then you take this corner, fold it over, and also meet the imaginary line. Can you see that? So this corner right here on the outside edge, take, fold it over, meet the imaginary line like that. All right. Again, you can use your thumbnail because it's always available, but same with this corner. Meet the imaginary line. Just like that. Voila, like that. Okay, now you're going to need some glue. So I'm just using a school glue glue stick and we're going to glue right along this edge, all right, on both sides, like that. You don't need a ton of it. Then we're going to flip that up and glue that down, just like that. And then you have your inside of your envelope. Now take this one and flip it down. And that is your flap for your envelope. Just like that. Like I say, guys, I'm a fan of using whatever's on hand, which is usually my hands. There we go. Grab your little Valentine. Pop it in there with some sweet treats or something. Close that. You might use a little sticker or something on there. And send it off to your sweetie. So try not to get these lines, um, I mean you can um, just do them gently, you don't have to fold them as hard as I did on the center lines, because you can see that they show up there. So you just want to, when you're cutting your square, you just want to measure it so you know. So that's it, guys, it was a simple, simple uh, project for you today, but I love simple, I love things that can be reused again and again. You can use this for any kind of Christmas cards, Valentine's cards, birthday cards, and there you go. Love you all, have a great day.